Hello and a very warm welcome then to Extra Time. Thank you very much for your tweets. Uh, Julianne Laurent is with us as well. Uh, Jules, during the old uh, Quadrado Pogba picture, we didn't have a chance to go to you. Is this a, a what's it, a storm in a teacup? I'm mean, with Craig on that one. I, it's, it's not a big deal to me. I can understand why the timing is a bit wrong, but I guess Quadrado wanted a photo with Pogba. Pogba obliged the photo. They're good friends. Pogba maybe didn't know that Quadrado would put it on social media. It's, it's a difficult one. I mean, what, is Pogba going to refuse the photo and say to Quadrado, I don't want to take a photo with you, Justin? It's a, it's a difficult one. Yeah, OK, he's smiling and he shouldn't be smiling because he just lost a football match. But I think there's, there's bigger issues at Man United right now than Paul Pogba taking a photo with a friend of his. Right then. Which is what we said, but... Which is what you said. Oh. Stevie didn't say that. <laughs> move on. <laughs> well, maybe I don't want to. <laughs> don't move on then. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses have been thrown, ladies and gentlemen. Don't move on then. <laughs> Would anyone on the panel have Lukaku on his team if you're a manager of any team? Lukaku? Chelsea Lukaku. must have been laughing all the way to the bank when they sold him. Didn't have a good game today. Happened. Was it his fault? Today? We just got to ignore what he said there. What do you say? A little bit Everton. Hmm? Yeah? What about Everton? Yes, I know it's a mistake in the tweet, but I was moving on from the mistake. Oh, okay. Was it his fault what? That he didn't have a good game today? Listen, I guess, I guess you have to stick up for the centre forward who gets no service. You know, at the end of the day, he's there to put the ball in the back of the net primarily. Um, but. If his teammates don't get him any opportunities, then you can't blame him, certainly for, for not scoring. On the other hand... Ah, there it is. <laughs> on the other hand... <laughs> there it is. Look at when you! You've, when you've actually very rarely got the ball and you need to keep a hold of it, yep. when it does go to him, it doesn't always stick. And that's very frustrating, I would suggest, for uh, you, you say it's very frustrating. United. You say it's very frustrating, but you say it with a smile. <laughs> it's well, it's not style. a surprise anymore, is it? Oh, boy. <laughs> Why? This is a very good tweet. Ooh. Why are PSG Napoli, Barca Inter and Dortmund Atleti all on the same time? What's the point of staggering the kickoffs? Of course, UEFA are doing it this time for the first time in the Champions League. Why, do, why, why stagger them if you can't put any of those three matches on early? Well, are you asking us about... I don't know. No, it's a... It's, scheduling it's, it's, of Let's ask Julian. He must know the answer to this. <laughs> so, I, 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 from what I understand, the, the bigger games can't. If you if you if you make them the early kickoff, you're obviously losing more in revenue, and you're losing probably more viewers as well from whoever is showing the game, because there's less people watching a game at six o'clock than they do at eight o'clock in the UK, for example. So, I think those bigger games tend to be at prime time, which is 8 o'clock and not at 6 o'clock when people are still at work or leaving work or on their way home or things like this, which makes more sense for UEFA to keep the biggest game at prime time, you know, slot than, than earlier on. That's why we have Club Bruges against Monaco tomorrow, for example, and not uh, PSG Napoli or Barca Inter or... Spurs Inter I'm was... I'm not sure 100%, but I believe that's the... That's Spurs how Inter was match day one, wasn't it? That was the early kickoff, though, Jules. Yeah, it was, which you know, was quite a good game, but it's, it's not as big as, as a Barca Inter, for example, I believe, or even a PSG Napoli. I mean, I don't know, this is just me. Steve Nichol, you guys will say that it was only Leicester at home, Ozil, but that was world-class performance. So my question is, why are we seeing Ozil main stage now? Is it because he's had to listen to Emery because he was tracking back because if he doesn't, he's out of the team? <laughs> 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 That's a lot of cuts. Cuts. That's what I give. He's got 240 characters. That's impressive, Cameron. <laughs> No, don't try to read it. <laughs> so what's the question? There's about five questions in that question. Uh, has Emery worked out the way to get Ozil ticking? Um, I, would, I would suggest you have to wait until the bigger games to find that one out. Because the only way we'll know whether Emery's actually getting the job done and turning Arsenal into a team that, that will compete first of, all, first of all for the top four but for the title uh, is when they do perform this way against the better side. There's no question it's easier against teams outside the top four 
it's easier against teams that you're expected to beat. I suppose the one thing you could say is that at the end, for Arsene Wenger, they couldn't beat anybody. So they are beating the teams they're supposed to beat right now, but to go any further is uh, a little premature, I would suggest. This is from Steve Nichols' burner account. Ah. Hey. Craig, what team do you support? It seems like everyone else supports the teams they used to play for, but I can never tell if you support Chelsea or not. I don't support any team. I've made that crystal clear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, more importantly, does Steve Nichol oh. know what a burner account is? I don't know why I have to keep telling people. I'll see you so I'm not going to keep telling people. It's bad enough I'll get him trying to take the match. I thought it was a fair question. Jules, who's your English team? Arsenal. Mm. Oh. Well, that was said definitively. Well, yes. Well, now, so, you after, know what, after winning 10 in a row, hey, yes. I see, we're always getting pelters, No, you see, right? I mean... We're always it's getting easy, pelters. I, I, I I'm particularly getting pelters. Saying that Arsenal, I'm not beating anybody. You're an Arsenal fan. Oh. So, am I being disrespectful to Arsenal or am I, am I closer to the mark? No, I think you. I think you're spot on. I think. Oh, well done, Stephen. You can only be what's in front of you. you. Okay, you can stop there. <laughs> that's, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but we need we need to see a bit more <laughs> against the bigger teams as well. <laughs> Red Sox or Dodgers? Oh, World Series. Red Sox. Sox. Red Sox. We're silly. Oh, it's oh. coming home. Let's go. Craig, yeah. any baseball interest? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I think, I think the pitching for the Dodgers may just steal this one away. I'm just saying. Yeah? So it may not be coming home after all. Not coming home? <laughs> well, so Dodgers, home that's anyway. it. You're going away, Ali? Yes, I am. Cruising? I am Off into cruising. the distance? Yes, indeed. Have a lovely time. Oh, thank you very much. Say hi to Mickey for me. I will. Uh, yes, I will. Well, we will be here, though, on the next edition, looking back at those big games that Jules made reference to, the likes of PSG, who they're playing Napoli, Dortmund Atleti. At the same time. Barca Inter, all at the same time. <laughs> well done, UEFA.